Hello and welcome to Engineer Simple. In this part, part 2b, I'll be talking about test 1 performed on grounded Y, grounded Y transformers without a delta. And I'll provide an example so, so as to eliminate any confusion. So test 1 so basically apply single phase voltage to the high voltage winding. I'm gonna go with 138 kV as an example. All three high voltage windings are shorted. That means they are parallel. So if you have so if you have so what you do, so this is let's assume this is the high side, you short the terminals then you apply single phase voltage you know with all the high side voltage one then short it to the neutral and the low side you leave open so since there's no delta we don't need that so in this case the measured voltage is 700.4 volts the current is 6.01 amps Here's the equation to calculate the zero sequence impedance in ohms. So it's three times the volt measured voltage divided by the measured current. So three times 700.4 divided by 60.01. So it's 349.62 ohms per phase. And note I multiply by three here because the voltage is a per phase because I'm measuring single phase. So it's line to neutral so it's single phase but so the current here that flows in doing this so here's the volt measure voltage the current is three times the per phase so you have one here and you have one here one here since they are in parallel so this current here is equal the sum of the three so so three times so this current here is three times the per phase so three divided by three they cancel each other so that's that's important to remember so then here's the equation to calculate the zero sequence impedance obtained from test one so three times 100 percent times measured voltage divided by measured current so this here is like actual impedance zero sequence impedance and this is the rated or the base and if you remember in a per unit any per unit quantity is actual divided by base so really that's what i'm doing here so three times i rearrange the measured voltage divided by rated voltage times rated current divided by measured voltage uh, measured current excuse me so rated voltage so my the voltage of the the wind that i'm applying voltage to is 138 kv but i need phase to phase voltage so that's why i'm divided by root three so this is just square root of three basically so it's 79.77 kv the rate of current I'm going with so this uh, <coughs> the high voltage winding that I'm applying voltage to it has a 27 MVA divided by 138 kV times square root of 3 so it's 112.96 amps so then I'm just going to apply the equation to calculate the zero sequence impedance uh, obtained from test 1 in percent 300 times 0.7004 kV so basically that's just instead of volts I'm converting back to kV that way I can nicely cancel these so I don't have to remember to multiply by a thousand or divide by a thousand then if I'm off I, I'll be it will be a mistake times the same thing here keep the same units and be consistent otherwise you are you are going to be off by a big factor so the zero sequence impedance obtained, obtained from test one is 49.51 percent so i'm just kind of rewriting it here so we'll keep that in mind 
after we do test two, test three, test four, then we kind of calculate the components of the T model. So this we will need this value here. So next video will be part two C and it will be on test two. So stay tuned for more videos. You can go to Engineer Simple. Thank you.